So most of you know that I ran the Democratic Party and the Democratic National Convention in 2008. There are more people in this hall than there were at the Democratic National Convention in 2004 and the Republican National Convention in 2004. So all those State Department people say when they're busy trying to keep America from keeping its promises, they say, oh, the MAK doesn't have any support. Oh, yeah, come on over here, State Department, and see about all the support. So, now, there have been some great speeches, great speeches today. I am not going to give that kind of a speech, and everybody who has a pencil or a pen should take it out now. And if you don't, take out your writing device now. Last year, when I came here, I said to the, Madam Rajavi and the leadership, you need a better presence on social media. They went to work. You see these tweets? Let me tell you how successful you are. Not only are you, you have already done 200,000, but not only were you in the top six for every hour since this has begun, for 15 minutes, you were the biggest tweeters in the entire world. Number one, number one. So, so, the first thing we're gonna do is more tweeting. And I want you to use two hashtags. One is hashtag Mariam Rajivi. You know about that one. But there's another hashtag I want you to use. Hashtag Iran. Why? Because the mullahs used hashtag Iran, and now you have made so many hashtags that we have taken hashtag Iran away from the mullahs, so you use hashtag Miriam Rajivi, and we're going to use hashtag Iran because first we take their hashtag and then we take their country back. Next, your very hard working leadership has not wasted any time in the last year. Not only for 15 minutes were you the number one tweeter in the whole, you know, whole world, they have also started a campaign to send petitions through change.org. One, about the 1988 massacre of 30,000 people, which the Ayatollahs performed. And two, they have a campaign about Cape Li uh, Camp Liberty. It is important that you go on the website, ncr-i, dot org, uh, dot, uh, excuse me, ncr-iran.org. Go on that website and there will be two petitions. We need you to sign those petitions. On the, 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 you'll be redirected to change.org and there's those two petitions. Those are creations for young activists both in Europe and in the United States to begin to require the White House to keep the word that the White House and our troops have given for so many years. This is the way we build support. This is the way you use social media. So go to ncr-iran and then redirect to the change.org petition. Sign them. Finally, after you do those two things, and those things you can do at home, tweets we'd like now, but the other two things you can do at home. The third thing I want you to do is go to whitehouse.gov. Whitehouse.gov. And in the upper corner, in a little brown bar, a tiny little letters, you will see the word contact. I want everyone in this hall to send a note to President Obama asking him to keep America's word and bring the people out of liberty.
www.whitehouse.gov. It is time that it's not just a group of Americans and parliamentarians and people from around the world that are asking the United States to keep its word. It is time that a very large international group of both Americans and Iranian expats from all over the world insist that America keep its word. It is no longer enough to put pressure on the State House and put pressure on the National Security Council. Now we are going to make this President Obama's responsibility, and he will answer for what he does. www.whitehouse.gov ncr-iran change.org petitions and one last blast of tweeting so we can see if we can get back to number one. Thank you very much.